Hey, good morning, everybody. Jason here. Um, so today, down a little bit, was down a little bit more. Was down three, four, forty-five hundred, down a grand. Not sure what the market's going to do today. Not looking super, super pleasant, but, um, but not too bad overall. Uh, so the only thing I did today, I made a play on Funko, um, and I'll show you those options really quick what I did I ended up making this free so this morning I bought a $25 call expiring in April and I paid let's see you can see I paid where do you see what I paid oh never mind I have to click on the call sorry I'm new at this oh no I bought the $22.50 and I bought it, you can see the average cost down there is $2.50. And then when Funko went up, I sold the $25 call. And you can see the credit received $2.60. So this now is a call debit spread, which normally costs you money. Um, but in fact, since I bought it for 250 sold the other one for 260 I put $10 in my account and this is now a free play my maximum upside to this is only $2.50 which is $250 but now I didn't pay anything for that I in fact received $10 and I can close it out at any time um, and I can take some of those gains if I want or if Funko continues to rip up I will um, I'll get that 250 um, other than other than that, uh, the only other thing today is Palantir. I bought another 15 shares since it was down again uh, this morning. Um, I'm down $540 on this position overall. But this is a company, the more and more I do research on, um, I, I kind of went on another binge uh, last night, just uh, reading and watching interviews and things, and what an amazing, amazing, amazing company. Um, even when you first get into it, if this is something that you're interested in, um, do your due diligence. But when you first get into it, it, it is so much to take in, and there's there's so many things that just will not make sense off the off the bat. And then and then when you start seeing what they do, and realizing all the applications available for their technology it is absolutely it's it's mind-blowing um so this is this is a company that i'm just going to continue to buy into i think i'll buy up to maybe a thousand shares or so but i'm going to just continue to add and add to this position um this is not a this month play this quarter play this is a this is going to be something i want to hold for years so this this company is the only other one besides tesla that i'm very 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 bullish on i love the company um from their mission statements what they're doing and everything um that i want to hold like just super super long term um so this I've I've done enough due diligence and learned enough to where if the stock dropped to thirteen dollars, it's not going to hurt my feelings. And I think those are the stocks that we should own. Um, other stocks that we're just trying to make money on, you know, day trade or um, make money really quickly on, those aren't ones that that you should be holding onto at all. Um, you should know what the companies do and the more and more I learn about this company the more and more I just want to keep buying into it sure wish I would again got in during like the IPO at 10 bucks or 12 bucks or you know um, it was available for half this amount not very long ago but at that point all I knew was they dealt with data I didn't really know what they do and the more and more I learn about them I, I just want to own a big chunk of this. So I'm going to, I probably will shift some of my other positions over here. Just, you know, things, other things that I own, like MGM and, and Gap and stuff like that. Cool. I like the fact that I bought them super cheap and they've gone up and some of them pay dividends or will pay dividends. Kind of nice, but not a company that I believe in like this at all. So 
this is one I highly recommend taking a look into. Um, do your own research and, and maybe it is a good fit for you. So I'm super excited about it. And let's just check out Rolls Royce too. So my average cost buck 50. I think I was down like uh, 10 bucks or something at one point, but I was also up $500 on it. Uh, another point, but again, this is a play. Um, well, initially I bought for no good reason, admittedly. And then when I started doing research on it, um, I liked the way they pivoted. And this is another, this is probably going to be a two year holding. I don't think it's going to be a super long term holding for me, but it turns out that I like this stock very much. And I do see this one, um, at least, at least doubling over the next couple of years. So I think it's a pretty good holding and, and it won't hurt my feelings if they go down. They do, they do have some risk, but the fact that they took a lot of measures to, make sure they had enough liquidity they pivoted well they got rid of some of their businesses um, that they owned to improve their cash flow um, i think they're making all the right moves their management's making the right moves and i think they'll end up doing well so there you go quick update not very much um not very much i'm going to do i just have the uh two options now expiring in two days and I am going, uh, I think I had one more that I did, I did roll out yesterday, but I'm going to try to hold these until expiration date, at least like Friday before I roll them out. I mean, there's only six bucks left on this one and, um, well, $75 left for the other ones. So, all right, guys, hope you guys have a great day. Let's make a lot of money.